Robert Fico is the Prime Minister of uh, Slovakia. He was elected. Um, uh, uh, he's kind of been in and out of office from 2006 onwards. Um, the West absolutely hates him because yeah. he, is, he has traditionally been viewed as centre-left or even just of the left. And he is a... This is a terrible coinage, but I'm hearing it used more and more. A sovereigntist. So he is very opposed to Western interference. You think and, every leader would be. Yeah, like every, 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 he, is, he is opposed to Western interference and meddling in Slovakia's affairs. Now, I might add that Slovakia, just as a bit of background, Slovakia in, used to be part, uh, used to be combined with Czechia or the Czech Republic, and they peacefully. Um, that divided themselves in what's known as the Velvet Divorce after the fall of communism in Eastern Europe. Um, Czechia had a very painful um, conversion to market capitalism and became very popular with Western tourists. Slovakia refused to implement the same kind of political and economic reforms, quote sure. unquote. Um, and so in 1997, Madeleine Albright, the, the, the much hated, um, in uh, the, 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 the Bet Noir of Serbs, um, she, uh, she, oh, indeed, and she, um, <laughs> uh, she, she referred in 1997 to Slovakia as a black hole in the center of Europe. So this is like signing the death warrant of um, their then, um, their then leader who was a, uh, a former kind of uh, a former communist era apparatchik, uh, and while he wasn't a committed communist, he was uh, very wary of the fact that the Red Army's withdrawal from Europe was going to lead to total U.S. domination yeah. um, of the region, and he was opposed to that. So anyway, the National Endowment for Democracy, which is a CIA um, uh, a CIA front, uh, and does what the CIA once did covertly, yes. overtly. Yeah. Um, they uh, started funding civil society groups, NGOs, and engaged in all sorts of get out the vote campaigns. They staged rock concerts to get rid of this leader. Um, and uh, a lot of the techniques they used were then, it provided a template for the removal of Slobodan Milosevic by NED in, two, in the year 2000 in what's known as the bulldozer revolution and I never get tired of saying this uh, it's known as the bulldozer revolution because of these kind of iconic photos of a uh, of a wheel loader being driven through Belgrade and it was used to like help activists enter buildings like mm -hmm. help them get into, through window the government wi uh, building windows and stuff sure. um, and it was it, it, the, it, the guy who was driving it um, pretty much immediately turned against the quote unquote revolution because he ran a very successful private business which under western enforced shock therapy went bankrupt and he went bankrupt too and he spent the rest of his life living on meager wealth uh, state welfare payments so you know be, be careful what you wish for um but the point is is that yeah so and, and in turn these bulldozer techniques w b provided the the foundation of the color revolutions in the former soviet sphere mm -hmm. including ukraine um but so uh, slovakia has always had a kind of uh, has, uh, has been a bit contrarian in terms of its uh, its public positions um, is is used. It's, I wouldn't say it was necessarily like hostile to the West, but it certainly runs very contrary sure. to uh, the, the kind of prevailing uh, prevailing stances of uh, Western stances. And so, like there is a a, a poll. Uh, the results of a poll was published. Um, uh, uh, I think it was last year, and it showed it it was it was conducted by an uh, a, a, an organisation called Globsec, which is funded by the NED. So these figures may well be massaged to make them less damning from the US's perspective. But it was something like fifty percent of Slo Slovaks didn't blame Russia for yeah. the war in Ukraine. Uh, it was like sixty nine percent opposed further weapons. Um, shipments to, uh, to, to 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 Ukraine, and uh, there was a widespread belief that the U.S. is. I think it was like might have been. It was like something like sixty percent of Slovaks viewed the U.S. as a threat to their security. Um, this is completely unheard of in Europe. Oh, well, within the EU and NATO, uh, of, of which Slovakia is a member of both. But the point is, is that against this backdrop of like widespread public support for ending sanctions on Russia and ending armed shipments to uh, to Ukraine. Robert Fico was elected prime minister again in October last year. Um, I said at the time he is going he is probably going to get cooed in the next 6 months. Yeah. Um and so uh, it, 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 I I was out by um, like one one month, so, yeah. But it's just like yeah. In, so in, on the fifteenth of May, he was shot repeatedly, um, and he rem he's had multiple operations since. And it's like he's you know, he's 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 fighting for for his life. Um, 
the media, the Western media has basically attempted to justify this. Yes. And there is a prevailing narrative. And if you get up the F, is the FT article? I have the FT. Yeah. So the FT, the, the FT ran this big headline stating how Slovakia's toxic politics left PM fighting for his life. Um, the, 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 the BBC used much the same lang language we talking about the, yeah, 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 it's the it's link above, it talks about the, the toxic environment that he created. Um, and the and Der Spiegel as well, the evil German um, the, like, uh, the, the uh, publication. Yeah, they, toxic political climate. Yeah, the, 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 they ran with the, 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 the same phraseology stating that there is a top, that Hitler, Fico has created this toxic political environment and this is why he got shot. Now, on top of like essentially justifying the attempted murder of like elected, of an elected head of state, mm -hmm. right, well, or at least <laughs> elected leader in, Euro in, in the heart of Europe, um, it, it also manages to blame him for his own attempted murder. Yeah. And also, like, it frames his anti-West, or well, or at least, like, pro-sovereignist politics as toxic. And there's, and it, yeah, I mean, we mentioned Kennedy earlier. It is a bit like, well, you see what happens when you don't arm Ukraine. It's like, it's, right. it's uh, you see what happens when you when you talk about ending sanctions on Russia. This is what happens, and you, you bring it on yourself. Um, it's it's pretty it's pretty shocking, and and it, there has been huge backlash f against the media using terms like this from average citizens. I think Der Spiegel ended up changing a headline because people were so repulsed by the suggestion that he brought that, that Fico had brought this on himself. Mm. But it's yeah, it it it, it it's it, it's there's also we we know very little. Although I, mean, I might add that the the uh, the media is also like kind of painted a rather romantic picture of the guy who shot him, like noting that he's like a published author and poet. Yeah, uh, which is ve which is very strange. And, and, and specifically, he was against the refusal to arm Ukraine. Yeah, and he, so the the guy is a a, a kind of a Ukraine pro Ukraine ultra. Um, who is like a rather a rather niche position in mm -hmm. um, in, in Slovakia, uh, like, and he um, he claimed that he's proud of what he did and he did it for Ukraine. Um, interestingly, uh, he crops up in the files of the STB, which was Czechoslovakia's like um, Cold War era communist uh, secret police force. Uh, as being under surveillance, and apparently the surveillance started very, very eerily on May fifteenth. Do um, have a link for this? Uh, um, I've, I've, I've embedded it in the. Well, let's just. Uh... But yeah, that he he was placed on under surveillance at the uh, on the same day that he shot. Uh, Robert Fico uh, back in uh, back in the nineteen back in nineteen eighty one. But the point the point the point is is that it, that does raise the question of whether he was engaged he like engaged in kind of anti-communist um, activities at the time yeah. or whether he was had contacts with western countries at the time which is what got you spied on sure. uh, the, f for the most part in um, in the, in the Warsaw Pact countries but the um uh yeah like it it, it it, 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 he's written it he's written it he, in some of his poetry he like he talks about how he likes running away from police and he, like being anti-authority makes him feel alive yeah um, he's exactly I mean, the, who I mean yeah but it's just like it's exactly the kind of person who would crop up on the radar of yeah. the CIA and MI6 or the, the or the SBU as someone to use as an assassin sure. um, yeah. there's not evidence for that yet first although I gather that like he he has stuck with the line that he's like completely lone wolf and yep. that like I did this I did I I did this for me I did this for Ukraine and blah blah but then like apparently like his wife and potentially other members of his family are getting like hauled in for questioning because it's just like there's no way you didn't know yeah um, and it's like there's no there's no uh, and and so th there's I gather as well from my sources in Slovakia Slovakia is eight people should visit it's a really nice country uh, the um, uh, uh, the uh, I've heard from not various sources that the government has imposed a very, very strict uh, code of silence on like they don't want details leaking out, yeah, um, and or being of the investigation of being reported on because yeah. like this is you know, this, I mean this is yeah the attempted assassination of their fucking prime minister, their popular prime minister is fucking it, it's a serious very very grave crime. Yeah. So I think that like in in weeks to come more it, it, this is not you know like the Russians 
literally capturing those Central Asians who carried out the, Mo- the Moscow Hall attack and basically, you know, like right. like cutting Beating off their ears on yeah. camera yeah. and like and and, and, and publicising that. This is very very different, and I think that they are. The, the, there, there's all sorts of questions about like what what the hell his security detail were doing. They don't seem to once he once he gets shot, they don't like jump on top of him or like do anything to like protect him. And it's like bearing in mind that they had no they they would have no idea that. There's, there was only one shooter. Yeah, there could be more. Like, sure. and so I think that your training, you have to assume that like there are multiple yeah. threats and that right. the, the coast isn't clear. And it's, but so and yeah, there's all there, there. There's a lot of speculation going on at the, going on at the moment. But I I, I do think <clears throat> the, the the lack of um, the lack of pro the lack of kind of uh, protests or kind of like street action and like, demonst- de- like kind of. Uh, uh, it, it, in the wake of this is quite interesting um, that, and that I mean that might actually inversely suggest that it's that it wasn't part of a kind of wider um, uh, like, a, like a wider plot it may have just been a uh, it could have been you know just a rogue well we'll, lone, we'll, we'll lone find out thing, no but doubt we'll, we'll find out I'm and sure. we'll, we'll, we'll be uh, bringing that information to you guys. Absolutely. absolutely. Hey, everyone. Um, if you enjoyed this video or, or any of our other content, uh, please give us a follow on Twitter or subscribe to us on YouTube. It will help us beat the algorithm oligarchs. Thank you.